Okay, this video is how on how to make the ugly table on on shape assignment. Why is it ugly? This little chip thing here in the center. Okay, so here's what it should look like at the end on your screenshot. Make sure I can see your name in the top right hand corner and make sure that you go to your isometric view over here so I can see everything's in 3D. And then you might zoom in a little bit so it fits nicely on the screen. Okay, so if you did not make on shape because you're new to a, new to class this nine weeks, make sure you go there for directions there the first nine weeks on how to make an account. Otherwise, here's a link to get logged in. Okay, let's go down here with these directions. First thing you do is create a document. You're going to name it your name table. I've already done that, but here's how you get going. So you have to draw your table top first. That's going to be drawn on the top plane. It's going to be an eclipse that starts at the origin, 100 inches one way, 40 the other. Starting at the origin will help you a ton on this project. Is there a requirement? No, but it will make the job easier, okay? So I would recommend doing it. Finish the sketch and make it two inches, okay? So here's my finished example. I'm going to go over here to this tab. I'm going to go to my top view on my cube. I'm going to say sketch. Where am I sketching it wants to know? On the top. Click on my drop down next to the circle, change it to eclipse. Start here in the origin like I recommended. I'm going to follow this over because I think it's easier too. And I click once. And then you got to click a second time for the other side of the eclipse. Well, now it asks how big you want these to be. Remember, one of them needed to be 100. So I'm going to hover my mouse over it, but not click. 100. This one right here, and it should be 40. And it looks like it's way too big and you can't see it. But if you hit top, look, there it is. That's perfect. Okay, it's just a big life-size table. Then you finish your sketch, and then you extrude it two inches. So finish our sketch, extrude. Right here in blue it says, what do you want to extrude? You click on the thing you just made, make it two inches, hit your check mark. Make sure it did what you wanted it to do. So look it around, turn it, like kind of looks like a disc. That's perfect for that step, okay? Next step is to draw the legs. So we're going to start a sketch on the bottom of the table, not the bottom plane that was originally given to you, the bottom of the table. You're going to draw four two-inch circles that align with one another. And then you're going to extrude all four of those 30 inches for legs. So I'm going to turn this. So I'm at the bottom. I'm going to click on my bottom view. I'm going to start a sketch. It says right here, where do you want to sketch? I'm going to say on the bottom. This is going to make my life a little bit easier. So I'm going to go to my center point rectangle. I'm going to start right here in the center. And I'm going to draw a rectangle. But I don't want it to actually really matter so I'm going to use it as a construction line so I'm going to click right here so they're just lines that I can use to help myself so if I go right here and it just extends it out and I can use these lines as help with my circles later on so I'm going to turn the construction line tool off now then I'm going to go to my center point circle make sure the construction line is still not turned on okay good center point circle I'm just going to start somewhere right here draw a circle it says how big do you want it two inches and you just hover over it, follow the yellow line to the other side, so that way they're constrained against one another. So you got two inch one right here. Now you're going to go down right here, follow the line, and you're going to draw one, make it two inches. Then you're going to follow the line over here until it matches over here, and then you're going to make a two inch circle. And now it's all about making sure that they look like they should. So I think this should be closer to the edge. So, I think that looks better. So now I got my four circles and I got my construction lines for the rectangle that I used for assistance earlier. And now I'm going to finish that sketch. I'm going to hit extrude. And what do I want to extrude? Well, there's a couple ways you can go about doing it. You can click on each thing individually, or in my case, I'm just going to click on sketch two because the only lines that mattered were the four circles because the, those. The construction line didn't matter in this case. So you're going to say, how big are you extruding it? 30 inches. You're going to set your check mark. You're going to turn it over. And now you should have the beginnings of your table. Okay. So technically, is that a table? Yes. But this is the first time you guys are going to be learning about using the polygon tool in my classroom. So we're going to make an ugly chip container in the middle of the table. So we're going to use inscribed polygons, and we're going to use offset that you guys have used before. And then you're going to add cup holders, so a pattern tool is going to be new. These are your two main, tool, main new tools for this assignment. 
So let's look at the container. It's going to be on the top of the table, inscribed polygon with eight sides. That starts at the origin. That's why it was nice to start the table at the origin in the beginning. The circle inside of it should be 15 inches. Then you create a three quarter inch outline, interior outline, not exterior. And then you finish the sketch and extrude it up by six inches. Okay, so first thing it said, we're going to be on our top view. So I'm going to go over here, top view it. We're going to draw an inscribed polygon with eight sides that starts at the origin. So sketch, where are we sketching? On the top of this shape. And we're going to go find our inscribed polygon. There's, so there's inscribed and circumscribed polygons, okay? Circumscribed means the circle's on the outside of the shape. Inscribed, it's on this center. So I'm going to click right here. And I'm going to start right here in the center. And I'm just going to drag it straight to the right, following the line, and click once. Then look, I can show, say how many sides I want it to be. So I'm just dragging my mouse back or forth. Okay, so I want it to be eight. So I'd say eight and click. But what happens if I accidentally hit seven? It's easy fix. Okay, so after you do it, you just hit escape so the tool isn't select anymore. You double click that, change it to eight sides. So it's that easy to do if you mess up. Okay, so you got your eight inch, sorry, eight sided polygon. Next thing we need to do is make sure each side is 15. Sorry, the circle is 15. So I'm going to go to my dimension tool or press the D button on my keyboard. And I'm going to go from the inside of the circle right here. The way I drew it was 19.11. Well, we want it to be 15, right? Now it's 15. Now we're going to make an outline on the interior, not the exterior. So we're going to zoom in right here, make it a little easier to see. Where's our offset tool? It's right here. It says, what do you want to offset? I'm going to click here, 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 here. Okay. Then I'm going to say inward. I'm going to hit enter. It says, how big should this offset be? Three quarter, which is 0.75. So I'm going to say 0.75, enter. Okay. Then I hit my check mark. Now I extrude that by six inches. So extrude. What are we extruding? Make sure you click between the two lines right here. Change one to six. Hit your check mark. Now you got the ugly chip container in the middle of the table. Okay. So, yes, it's ugly. But, hey, you're learning. That's how you use the polygon tool. Okay. Last new tool for the day is your pattern tool. Okay. So, you're going to start a sketch on the top of your eclipse. You're going to draw a three-inch circle that aligns vertically with the center. Then you're going to use your circular pattern to make eight of them. You're going to finish the sketch and extrude them by one inch, but it's a remove extrude, not an add. So I'm going to go back here, go to my top view, zoom in a little bit. I'm going to say sketch. Where am I sketching? On this, I'm going to my center point circle. I'm going to go right here, but not click. I'm just going to follow the line down so it aligns, and I'll click right here, draw my circle. It says how big do I want it? Two inches. So it's a three inch circle. Okay, so let me double change that to three inches. That's a little too far away, so let's move it closer. So now that's more reasonable. Now you're going to use your circular pattern tool, which is new. Okay, so you're up here. You click and change it to circular pattern. You click on the object you want to pattern, which is this one. Mine says three times, three X, three times. I'm going to double click on that. I'm going to change it to eight. Okay, so now there's one on each side of the polygon. Okay, now there's eight of those like I want it to be. I'm going to finish my sketch. I'm going to hit extrude. And in this case, what am I extruding? Instead of clicking all these individually, I'm just going to click on sketch four because that's all that's on it. And I'm going to say remove one inch. And now make sure they sink into the table. They do. Okay, so if I go to my isometric view and zoom in a little bit. That should look like my other example from the beginning of the video. Right. OK, so this is my screenshot. I take it see, so I can see your student name up here in the corner. And I want to see that you did everything that you're supposed to. So need help, obviously ask me. But here's your helpful video.